what is up everyone welcome back to the channel if you guys are new here leave a like subscribe before we get into the video new video on uh the new mustang so enjoy fourth celebration of the all new seventh generation ford mustang make some noise Woo! my name's jerry ganda and i am in the heart of downtown detroit right Right here with thousands of Mustang owners, fans, media, and Ford employees. So give us the details more about the cockpit. Well, as you can see, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, right? It's a single piece of glass that houses two large displays, one for the new digital cluster and one for the sync four center stack. Notice the EcoBoost and the GT completely distinct. Two distinct front ends, first time. Really deciphers eco, you know, obviously yeah. eco versus standard V8 or GT. In, in you know, every GT, you get this. Badass food extractor right here. Looks good. Right. Right. The road. You put the power down, you got to connect. Yep. Uh, long extended rear deck. Uh, it kind of gives you this really sharp angle inside you. And it's um, it gives it a really killer look from the rear view. Really wide mean. Yep. And also these um, crisp tail lamps. Really razor edge. Are all about exterior customization. What do we got there? And there's so many options for the Mustang leaders out there. We got new colors. We got vapor blue here. Yellow Splash is a new one for us. Options for all kinds of exterior stripe packages. We have four different interior environment, environments. Let's get into the hardware. Starts with the V8, five liter, Gen 4, at 480 plus horsepower. The most powerful Mustang GT ever. Next, the manual lives. <laughs> Hashtag save the manual. Hashtag save the manual popular 2.3 liter EcoBoost, all new for this generation. It delivers on the balance of performance and efficiency. No compromise. Next, I got to talk steering and handling. Please do. It's next level. Next level. It starts with our all new flat bottom steering wheel. It's set for grip it and rip it. And then lastly, I want to highlight the electronic part brake. The electronic drift brake, I should say. Co-developed with Vaughn and his team. It is it is ready to rip. So you can try to, your hand at drifting like a pro. No, no, don't get up. Don't get up. We're not done. Everything that mattered. Striking visual cues. Countless hours of iteration between our engineers and the studio to get everything right for high speed handling. Reduced drag. Cooling. All the same. Driver focused interior is capped off with serialized badge. Drive mode. That is made it with a tried and true manual transmission from Tremec that's evolved from our GT350 and Mach 1, and we have some fans. Tied down with the Magna Ride with next generation controls and absolutely designed to stick to the road. Our team lived at the racetrack. We just, there, there were six cars in that video and one for everybody. So we are going to race around the world with Mustang GT3, Mustang GT4, and global sports car racing. A dedicated track day car, so you can go for a full track day, completely enjoy it. We'll have a dark horse R, which is made for grassroots racing, SCCA. You know, drifting is the you know, fastest car in motorsport in the world. It's so accessible, there's events in any state, just about any city yeah. uh, on, on any weekend. And so Ford has seen that, and now every single Mustang has a drift brake in it. It has a mode, you pull the handbrake, it locks the rear tires. Uh, you know, I like to consider the handbrake as the now button. And it's just really, really incredible that Ford is, is seeing this and putting it on production vehicles, you know, and seeing them so passionate about a sport that's meant so much to me and we've had so much success together in the Odyssey on the track that's just only that's going to continue we will race it on all the continents with north america europe asia pacific mustang will be there
All right, so quickly go over everything that happened. I know I'm standing outside recording on my phone because my camera died. It's been a long, long day. Stay tuned for, uh, we took this thing on the stampede, basically shut down the streets of Detroit and we just drove through them. It was kind of fun, thousand Mustangs. That's the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, S550, there's gonna be a 480 horsepower, quote unquote, Gen 4, I think, motor. And then there's gonna be an EcoBoost. EcoBoost and um, the GT actually look different for the first time. And there's a new variant called the Dark Horse, which is a 500 plus horsepower car with a Tremec transmission. As far as transmissions go, we don't know if the GT has a uh, Tremec or an MT82. I asked the engineers, they're like, yeah, we have no idea. So. I, I don't know. I'm sure at one point we will learn what the six speed in the GT is. Um, other than that, the Dark Horse is basically just a performance variant for now. And they also released what you guys were seeing were race cars. So I think you have the ability to now buy uh, the GTS or R, whatever it was called. I got to review the footage. I literally just got back. I don't think they're street legal. They haven't said 100% if they're street legal or not. They didn't tell us. They just straight up said it's a race car. You can take them on the track. They said nothing about the street. I assume they're not street cars. You can get a uh, GT2 car. They're going to race in Le Mans again and it's just a really exciting thing let me know what you guys think about the s650 in the comment section down below do you like it do you not like it um i'll express in my video in the future whether i think i'll buy one or not because i'm gonna sit on a little bit think on it and kind of see uh a little bit more information on it the interior was nice um i'm not too sure about the exterior it's uh, i like it but i don't like it it's very similar to my s550 it's a little too similar in my opinion I guess we'll kind of find out and see how things go. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.